And then place you there. There we go. Now we'll keep that going. Good. Um, the thing we need to make is either some tar pits. Okay, these are also still going, but very slowly. Currently, things are going fine, but we're not making enough tar. We're not making enough tar because we're not using enough stuff. This is making a bit of tar, but it could be better. And this is why I like Yukoi. Wood. More wood than stone? Not quite sure what you're trying to tell me there. I haven't played Yuki yet. Uh, Yuki, not Yukoi. Yuki. Um, we also have this thing over here. Which we can hook up and kickstart our tar line for now. Give me some more underground. But I'm pretty sure we should um, make a tar factory. We can make tar. Where is it? Where is it? There. We can make tar out of uh, stone and water in a good rate. In a very good rate, actually. In a desolation column, we get some tailing dust, some tailings out of it, and some coarse fraction. I have no clue, clue what the coarse fraction is for, but I'm pretty sure that we are going to make this recipe. But first of all, let's pump out you. Also, speaking of pumping out, yes, we can make a pump. Uh, how do we get this through here? Where do we have to go? Over here. So... Go there? To go down there. Good. Go over there. And where's the entryway? There. Perfect. Pipe. Pipe. Pump. And pump that tar down. ASAP. Good. Now we're getting some tar in. And how's this power doing? Good. This will make some more tar for us. And uh, this will keep this one going for a while. But I do want to place in... Let's get you. Before we connect everything up, we should at least get stone down there so that we can make power out of stone. I find the recipe making tar out of stone so that you can make power out of it a little bit weird, to be perfectly honest. But, meh. Oh. Uh, not quite sure what we broke there. Not quite sure where this is going, to be perfectly honest. There we go. Uh, but we do have 33 miners, and we can probably make another 7. That will be 40. Pick up a ton of belt. Make a stone mine. Belt it down. Uh, also place these somewhere. Get another 100 of these. Perfect. And we are probably going to make this in a tar sludge, isn't it? Where is it? Tar. Oh, destructive column. Cool. We have two of these. Make four. 
And then... Yep. Pick up some of this stuff. Perfect. Use it to make some pipes. We're going to need some pipes. Go, little boy, go! And we have stone field right up here. Somewhere. There it is. This will be used to make tar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, how how immersive is Yuki? Uh, I've only seen it, but compared to pies, how much of an effort would one have to take to say complete the mod pack? That famous heavy metals of mine. Ooh. Guys, want to hear some heavy metal? Are you sure about that? Uh, where is it? Clear the playlist. Clear. Uh, let's go into the database. Uh, let's put these two in. These are amazing. And after we're done with that, put in... Uh, oh, I don't see if... Oh, wait, no, 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 there it is. And then put these in in reverse order. That would be fun. Let's go. If you know this band, you have to absolutely watch them live once because they are just bloody fun on stage. And sadly, I do not have any grindcore uh, at the moment on this ray on uh, this computer. But if I had, we would be listening to some grindcore. I need three. Yuka is pretty immersive, not as complex as Pylodons. It's unique that you're limited by a tech tree. If you can make the required materials, you can make anything. Mm -hmm. Actually, I only need two. But you do need vanilla signs to get things like engines. That's fine. What the Gutalax? <laughs> ah, Gutalax. The original poop grind. Can only recommend it. Uh, we're going to listen to some Glory Hammer. It's going to be a long ass belt. <laughs> Ah, there's a wood's in my way. Ah, chop it. Kill the trees. I can, for example, make modules much earlier than Bob's and Angel's even vanilla. Well, you can make modules pretty early in vanilla. Aren't they only green tech, if I remember correctly? But usually you tend to go for the good modules as fast as possible, and they are blue tech. Yep. 
There we go. One over. Ha. Huh. There were a few. This can also all go. Good to see that at least Tin is going again. That's a bit annoying. Where did you come from? Back up we go. And over. Good. We are going to make some tar over here. In these destructive columns. Let's place a... Oh, we could actually align them with them. One here. One here. One here. Ah. Oh, actually, no, these can go. Yay! Rejoice! Be gone! Excellent. You're going to make some tar. There we go. Um, how much water do you need? Quite a lot. Uh, water, water, and then maybe even some water, water, water. Let's see, water connection. Then we need the tailings connection. That will be this. Mm -hmm. Then the tar will be coming out. Uh, we will use this uh, pipe over here for the tar output. Um, which we can do like this. Bad time for another save. Good. Uh, that's the fluids done. And then we only have uh, the hardware output. And this will be going this way. And this way. But yeah, Big Papa Bear. At some point, I should prepare some Guta Lacks to listen to us. That stuff is so much fun. You say actually here. Need to dump everything into here for now. Output, 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 output. How much would these put out? Oh. They are actually producing quite a lot of these dusts. I wasn't expecting that much. So we're probably going to need two of these. Good. And then we need to propagate the tailings. Uh, the tailings are over here. Do it like this. Didn't I have a tailing line over here somewhere?
Well, the tailing pond is over there, so we have to get over there. Yeah. Maybe for tomorrow. <laughs> no, not tomorrow, uh, Friday. When we are having some gin and tonic and scary games and afterwards some um, Deep Rock Galactic. We should put in some uh, Gutalax as well. No, oh, that doesn't work. So where is that thing? The pool is over there. Uh, we're going to continue over here. Pull it along. Ah. Almost there. There we go. Tailings. And we know what is more efficient, Yukoi smelting or angels? Arr. I don't know Yukoi smelting. And how do you mean efficient? Do you mean like ore wise or even energy wise? Good, 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 good. So that will be the tailings. Uh, let's hope that this thing doesn't fill up too fast. If it does, we're just going to make another one next to it. And then the only thing we have to do is... Well, first of all, split it up. Also remove these. So maybe do it like this. And... You can go up. You can go down. And you go around. And then it's in, in. Uh, we do need 50... Wow. We will be belt locked at this point. There's a single belt coming in with 15 items per second. We need... A hundred per second. <laughs> so, one of these transports three items per second, six items per second, 12, 24. It'll be fine. We may, at some point, put... Actually... Yeah, we have enough of it. Let's also add the second stone line to the mix. Oh, stop it. Contamination. Ah, this will take a while. Also, wait. Yeah, this can stay. Do it like this. And then go up, up, down, down. Perfect. That's easier. Question. This side. Well, we can fix that in later on. And yeah, this will not be enough. Let's power it directly for now so that we can start up the tar production. Then we're going to pick up some belts, finish up the connection of the stone mine. 
then we're going to check our tar levels and then we are going to reconnect the whole factory and then we're going to get some green science going. And we should... Oh. I do have a few ideas of the stuff that we're going to do once we have green science. The first thing we're going to research is better coal processing so that we can uh, process more uh, of our power. But we're still sitting on quite a bunch of stuff that we're not processing at the moment. So, stone is coming in. Excellent. Uh, where is there? But first of all, we are going to hook up green signs once it starts going. We probably also have to hook up the tar for um, the rubber production, now to think about it. And we should take a good look at tar production as a whole. Because we were constantly using tar without even thinking about how it would uh, affect our overall tar production. I have no clue how it's going to be affected right now. Uh, and let's go... Let's go half and half. So this will most definitely be over here. There we go. Double belts coming down. Who needs trains? And I'm very curious to see how the interface or how the usability of caravans is going to look. Good. Also, these will run out of power soon, which is good. Good. Tar. How much tar do we have? 7.4k. That's just not enough. That should be so much more. And the reason for that is because we're currently not making any tar over here, because these are not making any tar. This tailing pond uh, will go. Actually, before we do it like this. Pump it dry. Good. Then pump. I should always try to keep this thing as full as possible. So these will always be pumped out. Then we do have to check on where these star connections go, but because these star connections go everywhere, they go up here. Which may or may not be a good idea. But we should at least split it up a bit. And then you go down. You go over. Now, oh, I see why they did that over there. Good. Put it out over there. Then this factory up there needs access to tar. It's such a smelting. Smelting is only the start that the rest of the recipes in the game are to be balanced or the other way around. 
water plates, energy, I don't even worry slightly about it. I have the endgame solar panel which produces terajoule or gigajoule per panel. What the hell? Uh, well, angel smelting, um, well, you have the sorting. And after the sorting comes the refining. And uh, the refining part is usually a uh, increase of 2 to 1. So you get double the ore out of... Um, yeah, but then again, that doesn't really... is That's not really a number, is it? Uh, let's see. You are empty. Excellent. So we can get rid of you. Big question is, where do you get your tar from? There's this tar. Oh, that's that's the actual tar line we just connected again. Good. Then we also have this tar line. That's no, that's the tar line we just reconnected. Oh, which we just disconnected. <laughs> Ah, uh, look at this. The stone is coming in. So this is now occasionally making tar to feed this thing. And you know what? We're going to connect the base back up. We're just going to gun it. And I'm pretty sure... Wow. And was there each itchy, itchy bit of lag over there? 22? 22? I should have 20. Twenty-two. That's fine. <laughs> so, our factory is back online. We're managing on power. We're not managing on tar. Why is that? Oh, actually, this one is now going. Oh, yeah, this is also a problem. Uh, we're still negative on the tar production, I think. Let's see. Tar. Fluids. Tar. Tar. We're producing it as fast as we're consuming it. It'll probably balance it out at some point. Also, this thing needs more input. Yeah, we are running out of tar fast. Uh, we could do... Build two of these tarks. For, oh, build one of these. Uh, let's connect the timeline. Can't wait to see it fail. Yes, it will definitely fail. There is the possibility that it will uh, balance itself out at some point. Uh, where's this timeline? There. What is this water pipe doing?
Look at this. Hook it up. 